Hi, good morning, great twelves. Oh, good afternoon, depends on what time you're listening. So we're on mining now as part of the primary sector. And mining has been the main driving force behind making South Africa the most developed country on the African continent. The mining started with the discovery of diamonds on the banks of the Orange River in 1867. There were gold rushes in Pilgrim's Rest in Barberton and eventually also in the Batwatersrand, uh, where there was massive development. And even today, um, that is the most developed region of our country, the Gauteng sort of region. I want to draw your attention to a couple of numbers here on the right hand side. First up is that mining, uh, these are figures for 2018. Mining contributed 7.3% to the country's GDP. Um, down here towards the bottom, 312 billion rand um, was made on mineral export sales. So that's uh, foreign income carrying, coming into the country. Two more important numbers right at the bottom. Company taxes paid were 22 billion and pay as you earn by mining employees was 21 billion. Those are all contributions to the government's um, income to be able to run the country. So what are our most important um, minerals or materials that we're, that we're mining here? Um, South Africa has the world's largest reserves of alumina silicates, chrome ore, gold, manganese ore, um, PGMs and vanadium. Um, if we just have a look at these ones down at the bottom, on the left hand side first we have platinum, we call that, um, sometimes we refer to them as PGMs, which are platinum group metals and they're mined all together. Next up we have gold. Uh, the Witwatersrand uh, is the world's largest gold resource and has produced over 2 billion ounces of gold to date. Next we can see our diamonds. The first diamond was discovered in 1857 and despite having been mined for one and a half centuries, um, the diamond mines have still got plenty of resources. And then finally coal. Um, the 70% of the coal that we mine in this country is still being used domestically and of course then most of that is used to generate electricity. Here's a term up here that we need to just take note of. It's the multiplier effect. And this is where additional economic development um, happens in response to a new or expanding economic development. And I'll give you an example with mining there, is if a new mine was to open up in an area, other businesses will be able to open up as a result of this mine. Businesses that support the mine with um, equipment, uh, accommodation for people, services and so on that the people um, would need. That's what we call the multiplier effect. So if we have a look at this map here of Southern Africa, we can see in this region up here so many minerals all found together. This is sort of where the Witwatersrand would be. If you have a look at these blue blotches at this side, that's the Bushveld complex and that's where we um, mine the platinum group metals. What's also interesting is these green blocks, that's coal, that's also found in, in this region, and that also speaks to why this area of South Africa is the most developed at this stage. Interesting um, too is diamonds, they're sort of found around this northern central region, and then right the way over here on the west coast, and that's at the mouth of the Orange River, that's where the Orange River actually um, flows out into the Atlantic Ocean. So those diamonds have, in fact, um, we call them um, fluvial diamonds. They're, they're um, washed out by the water. So if we look at the modern face of the mining sector, uh, beneficiation, that's a term we also had a look at previously. Um, what the mining industry does here is they concentrate the ore that has been mined before it's transported. So the value is then increased, the transport costs are reduced because the volume and weight is less. 
increasingly ores are being converted into metals and the metals and minerals are then being converted into manufactured goods. So this is known as benefication. Uh, environmental responsibility, this is a big one, um, especially in more recent years. Mining companies have to take greater care of the environment in which they operate. And um, I mean, previously, mines have released acids and poisons into the, into the water system, and this is no longer um, acceptable. So um, the mining um, houses have to, have to consider this all the time. Also, when mining operations stop, uh, the environment uh, has to be restored. So the factors that have promoted mining in South Africa, um, we have a long and complex geological history of nearly 4 billion years that have gone into making up um, the ground we live on, which means that we can mine um, minerals that are found both in um, sedimentary as well as igneous type rocks. The quality and concentrations of our minerals are often remarkably high. So if we have a look at this, we're the fifth largest producer of diamonds, but because of the quality of the diamonds, um, we're the third, third largest in the world in terms of production value. Most of the minerals are found quite near the surface, which um, obviously reduces production costs. The deeper you have to go down to mine, um, the more expensive it becomes. Then South Africa has these huge coal reserves, um, which we use to make electricity. So it's made mining of other minerals um, cheaper. And um, you know, even although we don't we don't think of it like that, electricity in South Africa is fairly cheap. South Africa has uh, well-established transport channels, huge harbors in Maputo, Richards Bay, and Saldana Bay, which can handle the massive quantities of raw materials. And finally, factors that have restricted the mining sector. Most of our minerals are exported, so this does mean that changes in foreign market prices have an effect on our industry. When prices drop, it has meant that um, some mines have had to close. Underground water, this is dangerous, so pumping mines dry adds to the operational cost and it can actually cause environmental damage. Uh, also, um, on the environment, these concerns mean that mining companies must factor into their production costs the environmental cleanup measures. They have to take responsibility for this area. Many of our mines are quite far inland, so the cost of transporting the minerals to the coast adds to the overall um, selling price. Then there's the scourge of Africa, I always call it that, HIV AIDS affects the workforce and means that employees are absent from work more often because they're, they're ill and experienced workers are also lost to this pandemic. Um, another major problem in South Africa has been labour unrest and work stoppages and this has had a negative impact on the economy in generally but definitely on mining. So that's it, thank you.